If you want your PC from looking like this, to looking like this, then you came to the right place because I'm about to show you how I did it. So to make the interior of your computer case look fantastic, you are going to need this, which is an RGB LED strip kit by Ergo. This kit will allow you to pick seven different colors and change the speed and brightness. And it also has four different modes. I believe this is one of the best RGB LED lights for the price considering that it comes with a RF wireless remote to customize the lights. I bought it from Amazon. The link is down in the description box. Before we start with the installation, let's check if we have all the parts that we need that are included in the kit. One RGB LED controller, one 17 key RF wireless remote, one Molex 4-pin cable and Y splitter, and two 20 inches RGB LED light strip. We have to make sure that your power supply is compatible with the light kit by having an extra Molex 4 pin connector with an output voltage of plus 12V. Or you can use the SATA connector if you have one available. Now, the installation is very simple you need to connect the SATA or Molex cable to the controller or receiver that connects over another adapter which is the Y splitter that connects to the RGB LED strips. pretty easy. Here's a picture so you can understand better um, how is everything connected. I will suggest to put some electrical tape right where the LED strip and the Y splitter meet just to make sure that they're not going to get disconnected if you move your PC around. So, you should be able to connect your Molex to another Molex connector just like so. Now, they are connected nice and tightly. But I'm going to use the SATA cable instead, um, just because I feel like it's more convenient for me. Because none of the parts that I use uh, to build my computer require a Molex connector. So I will have to connect an extra cable to my power supply. When you're done connecting all the cables to the power supply, then you have to start thinking where to place the light strips. I would not suggest to stick these somewhere where they are visible because you are just going to see orbs of light and you're not going to see the amazing aesthetic that it's going to give. And also, I wouldn't recommend to put them on your door because if you ever have to open your computer or if you're opening up your computer a lot, it's going to be sort of difficult because you're gonna have to be careful for these cables that are going to be in the way. Just try to put them in different places to see where they light up your computer the best. I think one good place will be right by the window or on each corner.
Once you have decided where to put the LED light strips, go ahead and remove the 3M adhesive. Tear off the adhesive just like so and stick the strips to the case. And that's it. Very simple, right? So I'm going to turn on my computer and wow, that actually looks amazing. I didn't have lightning in my computer before this other than the light from one LED fan and uh, a small light from the video card and the liquid cooler, which they are very like barely visible. Now, as you can see, my computer is lit up and it looks amazing, honestly. It's really well lit up. You are able to see what is in there. You can perfectly see each part of my computer. And now we're going to go ahead and change the color to see what that looks like. That's actually really cool. Now I'm going to show you uh, the different modes. So here we got flash. Then we got strobe. Then fade and then finally smooth uh, and also you can play around with the remote to see why you prefer like you can change the speed brightness and color you can pick seven different colors which are red green purple yellow blue pink and white And once again, if you want to buy these lights, the link is down in the description box. And if you would like to know what kind of computer I have, you should definitely check out my other video where I explain um, each part I use in my gaming PC. And you should consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't done so already. Um, thank you so much for watching and until the next time.